Is Siren Head real? Who created Siren Head? How did Siren Head even get the name? Siren Head? I'm asking the same question too, but I've done a couple of research and trust me, the truth about Siren Head is very scary. Firstly, who is Siren Head? Ah, uh, Siren Head. Imagine taking a peaceful stroll in the woods, birds chirping, a soft breeze rustling the trees, when suddenly, you hear it. Not a bird, not the wind, but a haunting, mechanical wail that echoes through the forest like an old emergency broadcast system gone wrong. You stop, your heart skips a beat, and then, you see it. Siren Head, 40 feet of pure nightmare fuel. Picture a human-like figure stretched out, all bony and tall, but instead of a head, two blaring, rusty sirens. No face, no eyes, just these terrifying speakers screeching old emergency alerts or distorted screams. It's like if your worst nightmare and a tornado warning decided to team up for a horror road trip. Siren Head doesn't walk. It lurches. Its long limbs creak as it moves, blending in with the trees until it's too late. And once that sound gets louder, well, that's your cue to start running. But let's be honest. Are you really going to outrun something that tall, that fast, and that unsettlingly quiet when it wants to be? Yeah, good luck with that. I'm sure you're curious, who created this scary beast? Siren Head was conjured up by the twisted genius of Trevor Henderson, a Canadian artist with a flair for the creepy. Imagine sitting down one day, thinking, you know what the world needs? A 40-foot tall, siren-blaring nightmare that looks like a telephone pole but chases people through the woods. And boom, Siren Head was born. It's like Trevor looked at regular horror and said, Nah, not scary enough. Let's add some sirens, make it ridiculously tall, and throw it into people's peaceful nature hikes. Honestly, he could have just stuck to painting, but no. He had to unleash Siren Head on the world. Thanks, Trevor. When was Siren Head created? Well, let's just say it crawled out of the depths of Trevor Henderson's brain sometime around 2018, and the world hasn't been the same since. One day you're minding your own business, and the next, bam! This towering, siren-blasting monstrosity is out there, stalking the woods and giving everyone nightmares. It's like Siren Head just decided to crash the internet party, uninvited, blaring its creepy sirens, and making us all question why we ever thought a walk in the woods was a good idea. It's almost as if the universe collectively said, you know what? Horror needs a new mascot. Slender Man's had his fun. Let's mix it up with something even taller, louder, and with worse fashion sense. So yeah, since 2018, Siren Head's been out there, probably lurking just outside your window right now, waiting for the perfect moment to crank up those sirens. Sweet dreams. Although legends claim that Siren Head existed even in the 90s. Now for the main topic of the day. Is Siren Head even real? Well, let's just say technically, no. You're not going to find him in the local forest preserve, waiting to ambush hikers like a super creepy game of hide and seek. You won't catch him popping up in your backyard, blaring tornado warnings just to mess with you. So, breathe easy, at least for now. But here's the thing. Siren Head feels real, doesn't it? That eerie feeling when you're walking alone at night, and you hear something strange in the distance. Your brain might say, oh, it's just a far-off truck or a plane, but a small part of you thinks, or, is it a 40-foot-tall nightmare ready to chase me down? No, Siren Head doesn't actually exist, but if you ever hear an air raid siren in the middle of the woods, maybe run anyway, just in case. Better safe than sorry, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment on what you think about Siren Head, subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, watch out for Siren Head.